welcome back to my channel my name is Taya and this is Taya's Turning Pages. I am back once again. I'm not going to get into my full spiel of where I've been and what's been going on. I'm not going to really get into too much depth. If you're a part of this community then you know I kind of sometimes unfortunately dip back in and out of booktube and just the book world in general. I do have a lot of ebbs and flows with my mental health and sometimes it does affect my reading and also just like my motivation to actually want to film and upload a video, edit, etc, etc. I don't really want to say that oh this time is going to be different or this time I'm going to be consistent 100% of the time and you guys are going to get endless amount of videos and content from me because realistically that's just not gonna happen Buki at least not right now at least not right now I'm dealing with a lot of life changes and I'm trying to navigate it all and also trying to figure out you know just my next move with certain things so like I said the consistency is going to be a little bit up and down up and down and I don't like I said really want to make any promises or say anything that might contradict that so just make sure you stay tuned and just keep an eye on my channel now with all of that out of the way we are actually here today because as you can tell by the title I am finally showing you guys my library if you've been following my channel for a while then you know that I actually moved all of my books to my parents house so my library and my filming setup is actually in my parents house more specifically my childhood bedroom just because my current living arrangements do not allow for me to actually film in peace and quiet but the entire time that I have been filming in this space I have yet to actually properly set up my books and my library in general as you can see this looks a mess I have so many books just randomly thrown over here not organized at all and it's honestly been an eyesore since I threw them over there and there's also a lot of stuff just kind of like on the floor and just kind of like lingering out in this space I have so many patches and just like missing paint on the walls because I was one of those teenagers that would like hang up posters and hang up so many different pictures and just like little stickers and decals on my wall and once I moved out I obviously wanted to like remove all of that stuff and I didn't do a good job it really bothers me I don't have all of the pictures and frames and command hooks that I want to have so that way I can actually cover up all of these spots I have a few but not a lot enough is enough I need to really make this look as good as I can possibly get it. Now, I also wanted to add to that and say, this is of course going to be a work in progress. So whatever the end result is going to be in this video is not going to be like that in a couple of months. But I wanted to at least give you guys a video for this Sunday and I just felt like this was the easiest one that I could do in a shorter amount of time. And also, like I said, I've had enough and I just really want to refresh the space and finally make it, you know, just a little bit more cozy, a little bit more homely, if that makes sense. But I am going to do some time lapses of me organizing the space, cleaning the space, moving some things around etc etc I'm also going to be filming a TikTok or two while I also film this video also I know that I told you guys that I was going to film and upload a reading vlog for this could be us by Kennedy Ryan as well as talk about my experience meeting her that's still in the works I still plan on finishing that video and uploading it it's not scrap as of right now I'm not sure when that video will come out but it will come out eventually but I hope you guys are doing well definitely let me know down below in the comments what you've been reading recently if you read this could be us and what you think about it and what you thought about it and what other books you're excited to read in the upcoming months like that was the easy part was me obviously taking off all those books on my mini shelf and moving it to this side I don't know why I had it over there in the first place it never made sense so I'm glad that this is finally over here now but now I gotta go through all of my books that I have on the floor on the tables and just see what I can actually fit over there what I want to put over there and how I'm going to organize it because I genuinely don't know organizing by color is my favorite way of organizing my books but it's also I feel like the least practical not all of the colors are going to fit on the shelf so We'll see how this goes. I'm probably going to mess with it a few times, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I drink enough, drink enough. 
So as you can see, I finally figured out a method to organizing my books and getting the rest of them on these shelves. And I'm so happy because literally every single book that I had here fit. So I'm going to give you a quick view slash tour of what my shelves look like right now. Um, I still need to obviously clean up the rest of my library and move my chair back. Also, I need to do an unboxing and all this other stuff. So again, this is going to be a work in progress. I at least want to show you what I have on my shelves so far. And I do plan on doing an actual like in-depth uh, updated library tour at some point. So starting with the mini shelf that I have that I moved over here, as you can see, this is what it currently looks like. Not too much on my floors. I know I need to sweep and dust around here. So again, not too much. I actually have my special editions or some of my special edition books. I have Real by Kennedy Ryan, my um, Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales book by Hans Christian Andersen, and then of course The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Right here I actually actually have a collection of my fashion magazines. July 1996 is actually the month and year that I was born. So this is the Vogue that came out during that time, which I think is so cool. I already looked through this in depth and it was just so cool to see what was actually in style and what people were wearing during the month and year that I was born. So this is something that I kind of started to get into where I collect vintage fashion magazines because as I mentioned before, besides books and music, fashion is one of my other loves. So I just thought that this was a really cool thing to have. And I also have just a few other magazines here as well. And as you can see here, I just have the rest of my books. So I kind of didn't really have a plan on how I was going to organize this by color. Like I said, a lot of the books that I had left over or that I needed to organize, it was just kind of like a random assortment. So I did the best that I could, but I did want to have all of my Beverly Jenkins books or at least most of them together on this shelf because I do have some other ones sprinkled throughout my library as you'll see like right here on this red shelf i have two and then there's some other shelves i think where i have some beverly jenkins books there's one right there i also have some of my apartment all my blue books or most of my blue books are on these two shelves then i have some of my pink books and some of my favorite romance books on this shelf and then more of my black books are right here as well as my special edition of the picture of dorian gray and then I have more of the black books on this shelf. Next shelf, the center shelf, this stayed the same. These are also just air fresheners, by the way. That's why I have those up here. Some more Beverly Jenkins books and then some more red books. Then you get into the yellow books here. And I never actually showed this on my channel because I'm always sitting in front of this because my chair is always in front. But this is what this shelf looks like. And then right here, this is also not the best shelf that I could come up with, but it is what it is. I decided to move more of my series up here, like more of my romance series. As you can see, I have my Twisted series. I have my Hoop series, which these are the standard covers that you can get in store. And then of course, I also have the Dreamland Billionaire series, which I hold near and dear to my heart. I just have this candle that I got a long time ago. I think I got this from Target or was it Target? I don't know, child, but I got this, uh, no, 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 I got this from at home, my fault. I got this candle from at home. I never lit it. It really is just for, like, decor purposes. I decided to move these books that were on this shelf onto this shelf. I also, of course, have my special edition of Babel right here. One day I will finish Babel, but today is not that day. Moving on to the next shelf, we have my pink books. Nothing changed on here except for, I think, the addition of this book. For some reason, took this off of the shelf and had it somewhere else, and then I moved it back. Same thing with this. Nothing actually changed here. And then once you go down to the last shelf, as you can see, again, I kind of threw more of my miscellaneous books over here. So I tried to do my best. Now I'm about to move my chair back and also clean up the rest of this stuff that I have on the floor and set up my little music station because I actually thrifted a CD player. I know. I thrifted a CD player, actually very good CD player from Sony. I'll show it to you in a minute. But I thrifted a CD player for only $25. And I also have some CDs that I thrifted a while ago, but also during the same time of when I thrifted that CD player. So I want to have that kind of set up nicely in my room here. And I... I'm going to put it in the corner where my mini bookshelf used to be. So I'm gonna try to set that all up and see how that goes. Yeah. 
right here is the CD player that I thrifted from my local thrift store for only $25. Y'all, look at this. It's perfect. So this is actually the Sony, oh gosh, hold on. Cause I'm not good with like the names and stuff. So on the back here it says, this is the Sony ICF CD 7000, but it's part of the Dream Machine collection. This type of brand or this type of collection or line from Sony, their Dream Machine CD players are really sought after. I love music so much. I still can't believe that I found this when I went to the thrift store. It works perfectly. The only thing I had to do was replace the battery. I got some replacement ones off of Amazon for like five or six bucks. I actually used it yesterday and I was listening to some of my CDs and I was having a good time. I felt like I was transported back to my childhood and I live, I laugh, I love. And right here are some of the CDs that I've owned. I like to think that I've had great music taste since I was a kid. Just like with my reading, I have very diverse tastes and I like to listen to everything. I'm just an appreciator and a fan of good music. So these are, like I said, all the CDs that I have so far. One day I do plan on filming an in-depth CD and vinyl collection because I do have vinyls, but they're not here right now because I don't really have a spot for them. The vinyls won't fit in this bookcase, unfortunately, but my CDs will. So like I said, I'll do a video. I'll do some videos where I go more in depth about my collection. But as you can kind of see, I have, you know, of course my girl B, Sade, I got Janet right here. Um, I got some Katy Perry. I got some Avril Lavigne. I got my girl Brittany. So yeah, I really came up in the thrift store. I just realized that, girl, I just realized that that was not in focus. So my bad, but as I was saying, this is what it looks like when it's plugged in. And this is just like the backlight, which I think is really cute. But you can like turn it down, turn it off, whatever you want to do. I'm probably going to keep it on that setting. There's so many fingerprints on it. And I wiped this down multiple times. But that's the thing with this material. For some reason, no matter what you do, you're just going to get a lot of fingerprints. So I have to constantly wipe this down. But yeah. And then this is what I have so far. Also, there's like so much noise happening right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm gonna just put the CD in right now real quick so y'all can hear it. So this is Britney Spears in the zone album, iconic, legendary, no fucking skips. All right, so you just like press that little button. And then just put this here. Ooh, close it the same way. And then, exactly, y'all hear that? Y'all heard that though, right? Like the sound quality, crazy. I didn't even have it all the way turned up. It was on volume four. Y'all look at this. Isn't this so cute? Oh my goodness, I'm gagged. It says on the side here, for nice girls who like stuff, which is Juicy Couture's tagline, if you didn't know. All right, y'all, so this is what my little music station is looking like. I got my Juicy Couture ottoman right here, which I just, ugh, I can't get over. It is absolutely perfect. I have, of course, my CD player, as well as my few CDs that I showed you. And then I just have my Nicki Minaj Pink Friday vinyl. This is one of the only vinyls that I have in my library besides Ice Spice's like vinyl it's somewhere in here it's probably in my closet i need to look for it but i don't feel like doing that right now i think that this is so cute i know it probably looks a little silly right now but when you actually look at the entire room it doesn't look that bad as of right now this is what i'm working with and i love it i don't care <laughs> and i still have enough space to set up my ring light and film when i need to so yeah that's really it for my music section um it's really small but it's mighty <laughs> So as you can see, it is the next day. I just wanted to close out the vlog here because I didn't do a proper outro when I was showing you guys the final result of my library. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into what my library looks like right now. Definitely let me know down below in the comments what you think. If you have any decor ideas or recommendations or you know what your thoughts are, like I said, on the room itself. Again, it's a work in progress. I'm still going to have to add things and probably change things around because that's just the type of person that I am. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me my channel out. And lastly, please make sure you follow me on Bookstagram as well as Storygraph. I will leave all of that information linked down below as well as at the end of the video like I always do. I will see you guys in my next video.